Dawson Friends podcast is back. We're recapping week three. We're sitting on the couch again. We're watching some Monday Night Football. Eagles, Cowboys. Cowboys pumping that ass. For Early. That good, good stuff. Early third, qu- Early third quarter. Not the best game going here. 27-7. Cowboys. Third and eight for the Eagles. The Eagles look like a total disaster. Whoops. I thought it'd be a closer game. They're not very good. Uh, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Fair. They're missing some players. Their defense looks very bad. Just getting pushed around. Really ugly. Cowboys look good. Eagles look bad. Yeah. I let's, mean, you could. Let's talk about who looked good. Who looked bad in week three? Okay. Biggest storyline of the week: Your Rams, the team to beat? Question mark. People are asking, and I'm answering. I'm answering yes. Why wouldn't? Why not? Right why now, wouldn't they right be? Right now they're the best team. Right now they're the best team. Not the best time of the year to be the best team, but right now, it's hard to argue they're not the best team. The other two teams, the two Super Bowl Super Bowl uh, participants from last season, one have of them looked one and not two. So great. Panic the Chiefs. Button? I don't know, but something's up. Mahomes is throwing no look passes and interceptions. Your coach is in the hospital. Panic button. I I don't know. We can start with that. Like, yeah, let's start Chiefs. I don't know what's going on there, but before you start, I gotta say something, Patrick. You're the best quarterback I've ever seen. Probably. You don't. Why are we throwing no look passes? Why are we throwing? Oh my God, he caught that and the flag. Why are we throwing no look passes to with receivers with no one within twenty yards of him? It's just too easy now. It's like it's too easy. It's like he's not having any more fun. It's like just standing back in the pocket and making the normal read, getting the guy the ball. It's just it doesn't, doesn't those, move it for him. For those that didn't see it, he steps up in the pocket and there's a tight end uh, running in over the middle and is there's no one there's no other player on the field within 15 yards of him and he does his he does his look off. He looks to the right and throws it over the middle. Throws it behind him. The receiver tips it and he gets picked. Just the most unnecessary mistake. I've ever seen. I guess it's just too easy for him. I, don't I mean, he's always been sort of loose, and it's just somehow it just always, always works. Seems to work. <laughs> it just always works. And now it's just kind of not working out. I don't know if that's just a luck thing. I don't know if that's something defenses specifically are doing against him. But the Chiefs look human, which normally they don't. And in, given last regular season, they sort of looked like this at times also. No doubt. And then in the playoffs, they just kind of get it figured out. So I obviously am not too worried about the Chiefs yet. I will say the uh, no one talked a lot about the loss of Sammy Watkins in their offense, but he might have been just enough on the outside, another player that defenses had to respect, to where it feels like you, you can game plan Tyreek out of the game. He went off in week one, and he's been very he's, – he's injured or – they're game planning him out of the. I don't understand what's happening, but he's he's not making an impact, and they're keeping everything, daring them to run. They're just kind of taking it out of their playmakers' hands. It seems like there's a very thin uh, offensive playmaking group there. Yeah, you look at that wide receiver depth chart, and uh, you get to the second guy, and most fans are like, I don't know who that we've is. Been, we've been waiting for Nicole Harbin to break out for four years. They just signed Josh Gordon today. They did. Why? Are, it's not gonna Probably work. not going to work, but but work. Josh Gordon worth a shot in my opinion. I guess it's I worth a shot. Why not? Just it's never worked. Well, now he's playing for the best quarterback in the league, 
maybe with Tom Brady on the Patriots. That's true. Didn't work. That's true. Didn't work. I I'm just know. saying. I I'm rooting for him. I I mean, me too. But it's he's just like, one of the most talented receivers in the past like ten years. He is. But what are we doing? Would be a really fun story. Would be really cool. But that I think that speaks to their lack of playmaking. Oh yeah, they're desperate. throwing darts, which I I think it's totally worth it. Yeah, totally. there's no downside. Just, just cut him. There's no downside. Just cut him if it doesn't work. I hope whatever. He, I hope it's because he can't play anymore and not because he gets in trouble again. But that's about a coin flip because yeah. he's he's had real problems. Yeah, he. Uh, I hope he. Hope he finds the piece that he's looking for. Finds the piece that he needs. Boy, um, can he play? Could play. Don't know if he still can. Yeah, I don't know. Um, not to take anything away from the Chargers, the Chargers looked pretty good. The Chargers. Uh, I mean, the Chiefs sort of lost the game, but I mean, the Chargers. You know, they. I think they, they're a good team. They, they. A very puzzling. Got, got the stops when they needed to. A very put the points. That was that was an to. easy drive. All right, Eagles are making it respectable. Seven minutes left in the third. We got a score. Drove it right down. Finally got an explosive play. I mean, they've just been absolutely anemic, anemic all night. It's looked real bad. Yeah, but um, who'd you bring up? So uh, the the Chargers. The I do want to talk about the end of the game. Kind of yeah, very that was odd. They just threw stupid tie game. I mean, it's not even ballsy. It's just dumb tie game. The coach did come out and say, "Hey, I called a run," and then Herbert said told Mike Williams be ready for the fade and they just threw it he was it was called as a run I don't know they just not the most uh Herbert. ideal time management idiot could it I mean is I don't there's a part of me that doesn't blame him but you just don't give Mahomes time like it's just I'm shocked he didn't go score just take some a knee. I mean that's just the move the, there the Chargers have been so I mean surely you can make like a chip shot field goal but the Chargers have it's been so yards. snake pit for the last like five or six years yeah. Oh well. I mean, you they it worked. Snake bit, throw an interception. It worked. Whatever. Uh, I think the Chargers are good. Herbert's got Mahomes' number. Let's get it going. He. They beat him last year. I think. Without Mahomes, but. <laughs> was it? It was last week of the season. Nobody played. For the I Chiefs. see. I they um, Herbert's first game was week two last year, and that was against the Chiefs. They did lose, they but, lost, it was, but it was it close. was a good game. Yeah, he played well. Um, Mahomes stopper. He's yeah, people Eli are asking. Manning to. I don't Mahomes want to f- Brady. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get that going. I don't. Uh, I don't want to get too far into week three without talking about the Thursday nighter. My boys. Oh, meow, meow, We're three and zero. Panthers look we, dominant. We we are three and zero. The Panthers. They beat the Texans, who are terrible. Boy, are they! Uh, McCaffrey escaped without a serious injury, which is good. Sam Darnold looking fine. They're. I love their. Yeah. They did lose. Ah, devastating. Lost J.C. Horn. Hopefully not for the year, but looked bad. Had had a foot surgery, had some sort. Mm-hmm. I think it's for the year. Not good. Um, they did just trade for C.J. Henderson from Jacksonville. For like a, he was a first round pick like two years ago, and they gave him a third. Jackson, That's always good value. Jacksonville loves doing that. <laughs> yeah, he was a good. Player. He went like tenth overall out of Florida, hmm. a corner to replace. He was like unhappy there, like everyone else is. I don't know. I would be too. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I just want to bring them up. They're three and zero. Big test. I was really surprised that they're. I think they're four and a half point underdogs uh, on the road next week. Who they have? I gotta check. I was surprised to see that they're getting as many points as they are at Dallas next week. It might be more after this game. They're four and a half point underdogs at Dallas. Should be a pretty good game. You don't need to listen, folks. You don't need to listen to the spread show to to know I'm I'm taking my cats. He's taking the Shocker. panties. He's Shocker. He's taking the panties, folks. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I mean, Cowboys have looked incredible in this game. Uh, an you, Eagles team that we thought was respectable. Maybe I was just right the whole time, and maybe they do stink out loud. Maybe a lot of injuries I mean, you, on you both sides. Think we they did just go beat the Chargers on the road. Mm-hmm. In a game that was had a weird a bunch of penalties, they lost. At the buzzer to the defending Super Bowl champs. I mean, they don't. I've said it since the, before the season started. I think the Cowboys are a good team. They have I no think, no real reason to be down on them. They'll be the only. Mike McCarthy might get in their way. That's the. They'll be the only downside. The defense is not elite, but I think good enough. Uh, I'm, I'm good telling enough you, to beat teams worse. Than I don't them, remember what sure. show I mentioned it on. It might have been the the win total show at the beginning. Trayvon Diggs, who just had a pick six in this game, was a huge value. He might have had some. Maybe like a back issue or something. There was some problem why he didn't go high in the draft. But 
uh, he's he was a good good find for them. They had to replace a bunch of talent in the secondary, and he was a good find for them. He's played really well. Um, yeah, they got a bunch of speed at linebacker now. They Parsons has looked awesome. This yeah, year. they're flying around. I shouts out Dan Quinn, not a head coach, good defensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Dude, NFC champion coach. So yeah, what about that? Coach, what you know? Didn't think about that. <laughs> That's true. Um, what else? The uh, anyone else you want to talk about? Not in that game. Rams. Let's talk Rams. What are your thoughts? How how high are your expectations right now? Super Bowl or bust? Hundred percent. But I mean, like hundred percent. In your heart of hearts, you think they're the best. Team. I, you I think truly do. Win the Super Bowl. Yes. You think they're better than the Chiefs and they're better than the Bucks? Uh, they're yeah. Better than the Bills. I think. I think. Clip it. Put it on Twitter. I think Matthew Stafford is not that far from Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. I think he is incredible. He's a good quarterback. That's and with Sean McVay, those t- I mean a, they are they are creating sweet sweet magic. It's a beautiful brand of football. Guy's they got play. a cannon and he just has open receivers to throw to all game and, and yeah, I think they will win the Super Bowl. I think I it's not a success if they don't. They brought him there to do that. It's certainly not a success. Um, I'm still. I, I mean, I think they're great. I I still would probably favor those other two teams week three. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised midway through the season if I'm swayed. Um, obviously, the Rams right now are playing the best football of any team in the league. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, seen him do it, been there, MVPs, Super Bowl rings to show. Uh, yeah, you got to feel good, though. Where... Sean McVay what, what took. Do we, what do we take from this game against Sean the McVay Buccaneers? took. When, I mean, if you look in hindsight, it was such an easy bet to bet the Rams. I mean, Brady's going to Foxborough next week. They have no reason to go to all the way across the country to L.A. And I mean, you hate to be narrative. You, why you? I mean, it was an easy smash. It's a it's a huge spot for the Rams to prove something to themselves. I mean, Buccaneers hate, are pretty hate, banged up. Hate also. to be yes, hate to be in hindsight, but it's. I mean, it was fairly easy. Uh, looking back on it, um, to the takeaway, I'm not really sure. Um, maybe a mental hurdle that you know you can can win a game like that. Uh, Home field advantage that's yep, a could big, be a huge, big for down down the road into the season. Mm-hmm. Um, get to play them in L.A. Tom Brady never won a game in L.A. He makes you think. Yeah, yeah. Something that something we should probably talk something. About. Let's get the narrative going. Guy can't play. Aaron in Los Donald. Angeles. Aaron Donald finally sacked him. That's a huge hurdle for him. Huge hurdle for Aaron Donald. I, I'm sure he was worried. I'm sure he didn't think. He no, could, they looked great. Uh, and they didn't didn't have. They had to run with Sony Michelle, which, you know, not great. Neither is Daryl Henderson, but he's a little bit better. I don't know. Feel pretty good about it. I think I was about to say Sean McVay took Jared Goff in a worst probably a worse team to the Super Bowl already. Assuming the Rams, you know, make an NFC title, make a Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Will we have ever seen a guy's career revived to the extent, like the legacy shot in the arm to the extent that we're going to see with Stafford? No, because like, I can't think of a guy who has that level of talent. In the NFL, quarterbacks don't move. It's not like the NBA. And all, and also, yeah, especially when they're good quarterbacks. Right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, players to the level of Stafford just never like Brady moved, but he'd already, you yeah, know, he he'd already forty two done it and moved. Peyton right. done it and moved. Mm-hmm. Have and we we're ever very, seen a guy very, who's very just no playoff success gets on the right team? You know, has the potential to go down as an all time great if he, you know, maybe wins two Super Bowls here, which he very easily, not easily, but. It's not out of the discussion that that happens. I'm trying to think of other examples. I, mean, yeah, I really could player, think of just any. quarterbacks just don't move in their prime. You just like take you, the I money. Mean, yeah, you look back for. I don't Football's know. such a brutal sport. You just don't. You just sign an extension. You just lock up the money. Mm-hmm. You're just so easy to get hurt. I mean, even even as a quarterback, you yeah, just take life changing money. Such a unique situation for um, to get a guy like that. Yeah, I mean it's. Um, I'm just thinking of Super Bowl winners. Obviously, I don't think there's any of those guys that weren't drafted for or traded after great success when they were older i mean kurt warner <laughs> he, he did he wasn't like in the nfl though yeah 
yeah, that's again. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird situation with Stafford. Yeah. Players in their prime. It's weird. Just don't move sort like this. of like. I mean, he's like almost having his coming out party at 33 years old or however old he is, which is so strange. I've always been a, a pretty big fan. I and I think have been I a think fan of his like game. People that are watching all these games know, but like casual NFL fans, are like oh, he's the coach, he's the quarterback of the Lions. He's Stinks. probably not good. Like, yeah. Bad team. Like like you said, you need the quarterback to win. So team that sucks, you assume quarterback sucks. You know, it, it's it's true. It's it's a, it's a good it's point a, to bring it's up a because weird situation. I'm trying. There's. I would have need more time to yeah, look through. I uh, didn't really look into. That's a good it. question. Yeah, I mean he's and very well. I mean they're going to be top three or four in odds for the next four years. I mean he's probably they're yeah. going to have a chance. I think it would be very very disappointing that they don't win a Super Bowl in the next four or five years. I mean that's yeah. no yeah yeah absolutely you're absolutely right. Um, I mean. You look at the roster up and down. It's as good as anyone in the league, and it will be, barring something unforeseen. But they've been they've the done four or five such years, a good like job of, as they've paid their star players to finding guys that can, they can get snaps out of later in the draft. Yeah, I, I think it's a huge, huge letdown if they don't. So a quarterback that built his legacy. Let's flip to a quarterback who is actively tarnishing his every week he goes out. Can I Big guess? Ben Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger. Hang it up, dude. dude. You're dead. It's over, bro. Stay tuned. Rank some shit. We're gonna give a give you our spoiler of five alert. worst quarterbacks in the NFL. Five worst starting quarterbacks in the NFL. Non rookies, excluding rookies, coming up. Spoiler uh, alert. We're talking Big Ben. We're gonna there. be talking Big Ben there, but I mean, it's awful. I mean, we saw like I know you saw the Twitter clip of him, him falling, falling on his falling face. Down. You just couldn't run and throw at the same time. Uh, I mean, it's it's past the bit. I mean, he's been a best shape of his a life bit though. for the last few years. Yeah, he's skinny, but he <laughs> can't throw or run, so that's no good. It really, it, you see things like that. How old is he? You see shit like that, and you're like, wow, Tom Brady is 44. Yeah, he's probably I don't know, 38, 38, 39, 39, probably. probably. Boy, I want to say his rookie year was 05. Brady's rookie year was like 01. So. Four or five years younger, and he looks... He looks so dead. He looks he threw, 100 years older. He threw 19 times to Najee Harris. Just like, closest guy to me. Just gotta be you. Like, we watched Breeze all year last year, and it was bad. This is way a whole, worse. N- whole nother Way level. worse. This is like last year Peyton Manning bad. Probably worse than that. At least that... I mean, Steelers aren't making the playoffs. No. Ma- not with that. They're not making the playoffs. Don't think they're making the Mason Rudolph. I mean, no. maybe. I don't know. Defense isn't that good. You know they're not no. the they're not the eighty five Bears. They're they got not the O one Ravens thoroughly handled by a very average Cincinnati Bengals mm-hmm. team on the road. Mm-hmm. I mean Ben, ugh. some of the worst quarterback play I've ever seen. Boy, it's sad. It's, I'd like to. Uh, I mean, it is. We're also gonna we're also gonna rank, um, or we're gonna at least talk about coaching uh, coaching hot, hot seats. seats. I'd like to transition from some of the worst quarterback play that we saw a weekend to some of the worst coaching we saw a weekend. Chicago Bears, you fired. You couldn't be more fired. But here's the thing, like it's that's been the case for two seasons. I mean, I think he could go down there, piss on the 50-yard line, take a shit and say, "Hey McCaskey, suck my ass." And they'd be like, "Well, I don't know. Yeah, we'll give him another shot, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we'll see how that plays out." I I don't know. I don't know what he could do to get fired. I mean, Truly, I don't know if you saw the Orlovsky on. Uh, oh yeah, first went him off. and Ryan I went mean, off. It's either you're a total dumbass or you're intentionally trying to tank Justin Fields' career. Both incredibly bad. Either or, get your shit and leave. Hey, I mean, I don't even know how out. he's still even this week. Like, and then he just came out today. He's like, we might start Foles next week. All three are on the table. Huh? St- Mike, I'm going to stop you there. You're fired. <laughs> what? Matt, I'm sorry. Don't give a shit. Whatever your name is. Matt, I'm going to stop you there. Get your shit. I mean, that is so chicken shit to Don't. be like, hmm, man, Justin's just got to be better out there. You blocked five the entire game. You got him sacked eight fucking times or whatever it was. <sighs> Poor Jason Peters out there trying to chase around Miles Garrett. Boy, I mean. With no help. just uh, There just has to be better things he can do with his Sundays. Total nightmare. Like, 
Yeah, he's it like looked, forty. I mean, also, I mean, him getting off the ball. Whew. I mean, it's like he's it's like he's getting up out of his stance for the next play. Like, I mean, Miles Garrett was five five yards by him before he even stood up. Yeah, it, he didn't even get a hand on him a few times. Just like, huh. Jason Peters, oh, you're boy. a Hall of Famer. You're an all time great. One of the best have to been. ever do it. Have been. You're 150 years old. Stop playing football. You're not good at it anymore. No. You're just not good no. at it People anymore. keep calling him. People keep calling him, though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, you want to come play left tackle and protect our entire franchise? I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's, get, let's do coaches right now. Um, I mean, number one has to be him. He's going to be fired this month, right? Um, has to be Matt Nagy. Number one hot seat. You Right? Judge for the Giants. Probably Nagy, though. It's one of those two. Yeah. Yeah, it's I one wrote of those down two. Nagy and Judge. Those two are, are in a They're tier of They're 0-3. They just lost at home to the, to the Falcons. This is its second year. Boy, I don't know. N- Nagy's for sure more deserving, but in terms of, like, will they, won't they? Like, it's one of them. Fire, yeah, I mean, Gettleman has to be on the way out. Yeah, yeah. The GM of the Giants. Yeah, um... Both just, of those guys, they got to go. Just ain't They're working. One and two, whatever order you want to put them in. It's not going well. But yeah, Judge, you're at second year. I, but players hate him. They don't win any games. They were fighting each other I in camp. Don't really understand. I'm shocked they're 0 3 after the brawls in camp. I don't really understand what they do. Like, what like what kind of coach is Joe Judge? He was like, a what special is he, teams coach for New England. What does he look like? What is their identity? Like, what. What is their team? Losing games? I guess. Like, you know, at least Nagy, you like kind of like, ooh, get a feel. He's like, oh, we're putting him I, in motion. We're playing like Cordero Patterson at quarterback, and we fucking suck. I don't know. Yeah. but Yeah. And I don't even think – I would like to see Daniel Jones not as a giant. He yeah. He's probably better than he's, okay. he's going to get credit for at the end of his career. He uh He's very has average. A very bad turnover problem. Yeah, he oh man. He loves the, putting it on the ground. One of the worst in the league feeling the rush. Like around like mm-hmm. where do you think they're at? Yeah. Like they're trying to kill you and it's been 5 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you it's they're probably close. Yeah. And here's the thing that I always say. It's like if you're a starting quarterback in the NFL, you've got a great arm. You just do. There's just none of you that aren't Ben Roethlisberger and used to and are dead now. There's no guys that come up you're like, he just doesn't have any arm strength and he's <laughs> yeah. starting in the NFL. No, yeah. that's just not a thing. Yeah. Never some, happens. Some have like Never will. crazy rocket yeah, arms. Some of them are Patrick Mahomes and some of them are, you know, like Ryan Fitzpatrick, which is like good enough. Jones is mobile too, I guess. He's credit for that. But I don't know. That's the thing. It's like you got to be able to make decisions. You got to be accurate. You got to not turn the ball over. He's not very good at any of those things. No. The accuracy, the decision making, the ability to Does he have tiny hands? Look. I don't know. He's gigantic. He's like six six, isn't he's he? He's huge, yeah. He's a big lanky doofus, so I don't know. I don't know either. Um, oh, what a move. ZQ Elliott, good running back. Yeah, he's good. Uh interested to see who else you have on your list there. I, I have some maybe surprising names. Next. I have a spicy one, maybe. Go ahead and fire. My next is Ron Rivera. I thought about him. I think their if their season trends the way it's trending now, it's going to be bad news because they were but supposed to be a playoff team this year. The quarterback though, lost yeah. the quarterback. Yeah, that's an easy out. Yeah, easy, easy get out of jail free card. Lost the quarterback. <laughs> if we had Ryan Fitzpatrick. Right. God, this team would be great. Right. I mean, but I thought about writing him down. I didn't. I but it is his. I second, don't know if he's third. It's his second year. Is it? Yeah. Right. I thought it was his third at least. I think it's at least his third. I thought last year was his first. Either way, I'm. But you can't be happy with how the defense is playing. No, that's supposed to have been their whole thing. There, I mean, like the offense. There's will just no figure out the defense. They're a sieve. They're, they're I mean, just they're no getting, showing. They're getting blown out. The Bills just hung like 45 on them. Yeah. They're getting their ass kicked. Yeah, I thought about putting them on there. I have a sneaky one that I put third. Frank Reich. I have him the next on my list. They're zero and three, and they're bad. And yeah. it and it was hit. It, I mean, it's his ass. They're bringing Wentz over. I mean, it's like that's his call. Yeah, that was his guy. Wrong. They gave up a first round pick for him. Yeah, and it's not working. It's, it's not going to work. Bad. We've seen it. Dude can't play. And that's his. I mean, it's got to be. He's he's fine. Can't win with him. Is he? I don't know. He w- was fine before he got hurt. I haven't seen one glimpse of fine since he got injured. 
Yeah. Um, they, unlike the football team, have not, like, their losses haven't been as, they haven't got blown out, really. They haven't yeah. looked great, but they've looked, you know, like, competitive, I guess. I suppose. And, yeah. yeah, they don't really have anyone injured. They're just... It's getting beat. It, it's like... It's kind of like that NBA team that's like an eight seed, nine seed. It's just like we're just plateaued. Just, we're just not good enough to beat these good teams. NFL purgatory. We're just not quite good enough. Yeah. This is the ceiling the of this roster. The Chicago Bulls of the NFL. <laughs> yeah. This is just the ceiling of this roster. Just your competitive like seven, eight, nine spot. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, they're, I mean, they just lost on the road at Tennessee. They lost to the Rams, who were one of the best teams in the league. Don't they remember. Lost they lost to they, Seattle. Good teams. I mean, I don't. Yeah. We'll the, see. It's early. Threes, there's. Sir, they're certainly still the best zero and three team in the league. Right, they got that going for them. So Colts fans, be be pretty stoked about that. Um, what a badge of honor! Yeah, I had Reich. Uh, next guy on my list, who's similar boat to the first two guys, team with higher ex- you know playoff expectations. Defense has been really bad. Defensive coach Mike Zimmer, Minnesota Vikings, one and Intr- two. No. Offenses look pretty good. But Are they? Who'd they play the first week? They're one and two. They lost to Arizona, and they lost Who'd they lose to, to the first week? They lost to Arizona the first week. No. No, it was week two. They lost to... They won this week, right? Yeah, it was a big win. They just beat Seattle. Kicked the shit out of them, really. Uh, they were down they, early. who they lose to the first week? I, can look. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. That was a big win. Uh, I could win see it, big win, but you know, I could see the it. writing is on the wall there. He's been there long enough. Similar to the Colts team, it Very seems similar. like this team has hit a plateau. It seems like this team cannot get better. It seems like a change of changes, changing some pieces around is maybe in order. Yeah, they do. They do seem very Colts-ish. And I'm scrolling around and I can't find it. They just didn't play, I guess. Yeah. No. Uh, there you go. Bengals lost to the Bengals on the last second field that's goal. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's not a great loss. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. If it goes bad there, I could see it. But I think I think they'll be okay. Um, I think they'll be okay. But yeah, I mean that's that's a reasonable. I have three one. others on my list that are one of them's a first year guy. So Urban like, Meyer. Yeah, <laughs> I had I wrote down Urban Meyer too. Um, um, he's a first year guy, so it's a little weird. But I mean, he might just quit. Yeah. I mean, he might just be. Like, <laughs> Could be one of those. They were just like, we've mutually agreed this is yeah. not going to work. The she's like, I don't want to do it anymore. And he'll go coach USC. He'll coach them for two years. I don't want to do it anymore. He'll go be on TV for a year and then do it all again, maybe. And then, <laughs> back no. to the NFL. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I guess every I every coaching stuff. vacancy. Urban Meyer. Urban Meyer, maybe. Urban, with a good, Urban might get the boys going down there. <laughs> Eventually, are we going to get to the point where Urban he's Meyer like to so, Illinois? So well, yeah, <laughs> where he's so washed, it's like Youngstown State, Urban Meyer. I don't know. Get, get a get a program started. Urban good. Yeah, he's uh, he's coaching at Buffalo now, <laughs> not yeah. the Bills. Um, no, no, you're Bulls. He's coaching Maction on Wednesday nights. Yeah. Uh, another guy, I don't think he'll. You got ever. a lot of coaches. Let's hear him. Rip them off. These two, well, one of them is a three and O coach. Why would they fire that guy? They're not going to fire him yet. But if it goes the way it went last year, Cliff Kingsbury. If they start off hot again, and they just completely putter out at the end of the year, yeah, we've talked about it. Might be a fraud. If they'd lost that game to the Jags after he tried to kick that ninety-five yard field goal and they returned it for a touchdown, <laughs> yeah. you fired on this. Don't don't come home. Don't come back. <laughs> What are you doing, Cliff? Yeah. Bad decision. Uh, yeah. Who who else you got? Um Tomlin. No. Yeah, I don't think so either, but I thought about him too. They have I don't think ever in the history of the franchise have fired someone mid in season. Yeah, and this I don't think I mean I don't think hardly any of these guys will get other than Nagy and Judge. I don't think any of these people will get fired in the middle of the season. Maybe Reich. Yeah. The rest of these guys, I don't think any of them will get fired in the middle Probably of the not. season. Um but I'm just saying like we could get a part, uh, a uh, mutual parting of ways, maybe. I mean, he's been there for what, 10, 15 years? Yeah, I mean, 10, 10 for sure. I, um, like, 09, they won the Super Bowl with him. So, yeah, I just at think at least 10 or so. I, just, like, I mean, it's, it's just, just like, like, you know, like, I don't know. Just with Ben going, kind of feels like the end of an era. Maybe he'll just coach there forever. I think he's he earned the right so to coach Pittsburgh. there forever. He's such a good coach. He feels so Pittsburgh. Just a little, just yeah. a little something to think about, maybe though. Yeah. I don't know. Just popped in my head. Right um, off into the 
the sun I'm sure, the, the sunset. I don't know I'm what you sure write off into. I'm sure hopefully they're you're... hoping they fucking suck this year. They can get Sam Howell or... I don't know what you write off Malik, into when you go like Malik 5 Willis. and 13 and yeah. <laughs> it just goes dark and gets real depressing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They, they need an injection of life at the quarterback position. Mm-hmm. They are truly terrible. Yeah. They need to hit on somebody in this draft. Or maybe, you know... Maybe they'll get a Stafford type. I don't know who that guy would be. True. But yeah. They could always – because, I mean, oh, the yeah. rest I saw of their someone, team's ready to go. I saw someone on Twitter talking about uh, – Need some O-linemen. Oh, my God. Who, oh, Aaron Rodgers to uh, to Pittsburgh next year. Do you want to talk about that next? You want to talk, talk about Rangers? Sunday night? Let's do it. Um, well, let's see. How Ooh. much time is too much time for a top five quarterback? 37 <laughs> minimum, at least, we've seen. It just seems too easy. Um, so Aaron Rodgers is, he is who we thought he was. Uh, the week one was a total fluke. It was, you have those in the NFL sometimes. It's just weird. Sometimes you just lay an egg. Weird hurricane of things happening. No pun intended, but Saints. Um. True. Yeah, it's just a weird whirlwind. Shit just goes wrong. And then your game plan is, you just like, we had the completely wrong game plan and there was nothing we could have really done middle of the game to fix it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's back. He looked Incredible, looks sweet. MVP caliber. Yeah, look great. He he made so many throws that just make your jaw drop. You'd think after watching him for this long, when he played, you would watch him. And you just would be used to it, but it's it's, it's incredible weird, to watch him play yeah, football. Yeah, he's he's a great quarterback. Is it weird that like as a fan of the Rams, I um, could regret saying this. Don't fear them whatsoever, though. No, because they've made it to one Super Bowl the entire time he's been there. They make just the NFC like a, title game and they lose. Feels like every a pretty beatable year. Just a beatable team in a lot in a lot of ways. I, I, mean, I, I don't think know. it's fair. Like the, they make the NFC Championship game every other year. They lose every single time. We have no data to not support that. I mean, they've lost two years in a row in the NFC title game. True. They'll probably do it again this year. They'll. They're certainly in the discussion. To yeah. be playing in that I game. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the NFC. As long as you have Aaron Rodgers, you're going to be one of the best teams in your respective conference. Yeah, it's true. I just, yeah, for whatever reason, they're just on a tier below the teams that I think are vying for for the Super Bowl. In oh, my yeah, opinion. I think, I think, uh, they're I think a clear those top below. four. I think Bills, Chiefs, Bucks, Rams are a tier ahead. I don't know who else would be in that Green Bay tier um, off the top of my head. Probably, they might just be in their own little tier. They might. The yeah. Raiders? Let's talk about the Raiders. Let's talk about the Raiders. Let's talk about the Raiders. Believe it or not, we talked before before the uh, the podcast. Believe it or not, Derek Carr, MVP candidate. Believe it. Folks, at the number it's at right now, I'm telling you. I don't know what it's at. It's like 9 to 1, 10 to 1 for him to win MVP right now. I would still side with Matthew Stafford. Is he the favorite? Uh, I think. I think Mahomes or Brady is still the favorite to win MVP. I think I would still side with. I'm not Stafford. saying. I th- like. I think those guys have better odds. The value, the number that it's at, it's good value to bet on them at this point because I think it's only going to go the other way the rest of the year. Maybe. Does. So bets like that, it annoys me so much that I didn't get on at the number that it was like two weeks ago type mm-hmm. of stuff like. It was probably 50 to 1 before the yeah, season. Still a pretty good number now, but yeah. Um, I was talking to you about this on Sunday. They gave me big two 2016 Falcons vibes. Like, mm-hmm. this you will be that. the one year they were good. The next year they'll be back to being, you know, the normal shitty Raiders. Sort of a lightning in a bottle type of season. MVP caliber season for the quarterback, maybe. I don't know. They they got a kind of a little team of destiny thing going on. They're kind of squeaking out wins. But, they, I mean... Not to say they're getting lucky because they're winning these games. They're earning these victories. They look really good. Raiders are a team to team to worry about. I'd like to say I'm wrong a lot. I was right about the Raiders defense. Really fun. Good Flies around. Unit. Good, good unit. unit. Really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah. I expect big things from the Raiders this season. Um, I don't buy them on week, week one. Didn't have high expectations going into the season. Been proven wrong. I can't. Uh, we need to. We should probably do. Maybe next week we'll look at a. Uh, do a little refresh on the old. Uh, 
the win totals, the preseason win yeah. totals that we looked at, and we'll see kind of where we stand on maybe a few of those. Maybe do some future picks, maybe. Yeah, I can't remember what I said on the Raiders, but... I'm pretty sure I said under. I'm almost positive I did, but... I don't remember. I, I don't might remember have either. said. I might have said over. I do not remember, though. But, uh, yeah. We've seen it before, though. It's three weeks. It is three weeks. To yeah. To be fair. Um... Speaking of teams that are dominant, the Buffalo Bills, after a disappointing week one, are, you could argue, the most dominant team in football right now. How did they right lose now. to Pittsburgh? The NFL's so weird. How did they lose that game? Similar deal to the Packers thing, man. I don't know. Um, ben is so dead. How did they lose A lot of bad game? officiating in that Packers game also. A lot of bad officiating. Very um, much so. Devon- Devonta Adams got Devonta killed. Adams got killed and he he said, just missed it. He said it wasn't to the head. It was more like his chest. He was just like, he uh, got the wind knocked out of him. Hmm. I mean, it looked like he got hit right in the chin. Like, he said he couldn't breathe, so hmm. that's why he was good to go. Weird. Um, terrible, anyway, terrible officiating. Uh, yeah, really bad officiating in that game. The refereeing's, I don't know. A lot of flags. A lot of flags. We talked about it last week. We're not going to harp on it. it. I just said it in this game. Oh, yeah, there's been like 11 holdings. It's just a lot of really flags. gross. It uh, Officiating, flags as the season goes on seems to – calm down a bit like it, it's still in like the points of emphasis phase of mm-hmm. the early season like, yeah oh, gotta buy the book here we gotta really clean up the league and it it does loosen as the season goes on i think so hopefully it does yeah we'll see what but happens it's been brutal i don't remember what what if maybe it was uh i don't know what penalty it was but there was a couple years ago where it's just like something that they never call, that there was just like two a game and every game, just like, we can't be doing this. It was mm-hmm. like points of emphasis that they were just like, give me a break. But usually as the season goes on, it, it loosens up a little bit, hopefully. Jesus. Yeah. It's been been pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, Bills, though, dominant. Look great. Wagon. Best offense in the league right now. <laughs> Look pretty good. By a mile, pretty much. I mean, maybe not they by play, a mile. But... They have a big game. I think they might go to... Uh, Kansas City soon. That'll be a fun one. Maybe they'll just kick the shit out of them. Maybe they the could. Chiefs stink. Maybe the Chiefs just stink. They seem very underwhelming right now. I tell you, they're you can move the ball on them. I mean, they're yeah. giving up thirty. Defense a game. looks bad. This retooled offensive line doesn't seem very retooled to me. It looks basically no. as bad as it was in the Super Bowl. No. Not easy to play offensive line. No, it's not. Just I block them. Yeah. <laughs> just block them. You're 500 pounds. Just, just block them. It's easy. Them. Just you block them. Come on, line. You got to block. Oh, yeah. Everybody oh, loves the high school the Friday, grandma. Night, <laughs> Friday Night Lights mom. You got to block, line. Come on, Wildcat. Somebody block somebody. And then, yeah, somebody blocks him. And then you. Hey, guess what? Her son doesn't play offensive line. Yeah. And then. Her son carries the ball. And then, yeah. And then, and then little Johnny busts one of the house. Like, good job, Johnny. You did good it. Good job, Johnny. The line, you're, you're a bunch in, of slobs. In spite of the offensive, that shitty ass offensive line. Yeah, they never. No credit. All the hate. Shout the then the other end. Shout out to all the, the shout out to all the offensive Every, line. Listen right now. Yeah, if you're an O lineman, drop the it ho- in the comments. Hog Molly, stand up. We love the big fellas. Looking at a couple couple defensive ends right here. <laughs> mean, brutal. Th- talk. I'll meet you at the quarterback. We lived two. in the trenches. These two. I get it. None of this flashy <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, this number fugazi numbers. Numbers not between fifty and no, seventy. No hand in the dirt. Baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my God! And then on the other side of the ball, every time the ball is snapped, tackle! Come on, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta hit somebody, tackle him! Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Becky, shut the fuck up! I love Friday Night Mom. Yeah, truly some of the best stuff. Yeah, it's a uh, special kind of psychopath. Um, <laughs> Uh yeah, Bills are good. Josh yeah, Allen, shocker. pretty good. We buried him early. Psych. <laughs> Week one, dead, and they stink. Nope, turns out they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. they uh, surprisingly, the receivers not named Diggs have been really good. Yeah, He's Diggs hasn't away. really been going. He's got a bunch of targets. He's got some short. Manuel Sanders completions. A yeah, career playing well. Reformation playing well. This that dude. I've been burying that guy forever. Do tours Achilles and played him like out. eight months. Psycho. Now he's sick again. Incredible player. Yeah. Um, Jets really fucking suck. Dear Have that written down. God. They might not win a game. They might uh 
Are they a favorite to not win a game right now? Mm, I don't know. I'd imagine I mean, it's hard. I'd imagine it's they hard play to the lose. Jags, so they probably play the Jags and the Texans. So it's hard to lose seventeen hope. games in a row. They didn't do it last year, and that team was, but boy, probably they... worse than this team. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know who was on that team last year. I don't know who's on that team this year. How much? So I don't really. How know. much? How much better is Sam Darnold than rookie Zach Wilson? In theory, a lot. Um, boy. Uh, not going to bury him yet. It's like we say with all these guys. It's like no protection, no weapons. Hard to be good. It's <laughs> hard to be good. I, yeah. Uh, the NFL defenses the are other really players, good. The other I players need you to are get very open, good. And I need you to give me some time to see them when they're open. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just the other kind players, of throwing blind. They get paid too. Mm-hmm. A mm-hmm. lot. It's tough. Uh, yeah, I... I don't think Zach Wilson's it. We'll see. Uh, the Bills kind of stink. Or not the Bills. The Jets don't kind of stink. They really stink. Yeah, they stink out loud. Uh, worst team in the NFL. Um, Any other tidbits? We can we uh, can transition from Zach Wilson to other bad quarterbacks soon. Uh, Nick Sirianni. Just wanted to put this out there. Uh-huh. Uh, just watching him. I'm pretty sure head football coaches are the only people keeping the visor industry alive. Does anyone else who wears a in visor? any walk of life wear a visor that's not a football? Women coach? golfers, do they? I guess. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, women golfers and yeah. football coaches yeah. and moms whose family has a boat. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, that's it. Yeah, LPGA tour is big in the visor industry. Oh my god, he got killed. Bold. Um. Yeah, double coverage, huck it up. Um, yeah, LPG Tour, people that live near water, perhaps, and head football coaches. They he's, really died out. In mid-2000s, we talking, visors had a big moment. Now We were talking, uh, he was, he's rocking a visor indoors at night. Visor indoors at night with the pins in the, the visor. pink pin. What a fucking hardo. Clip to the visor. Save some for the rest of us, Nick. Yikes. Yeah, no, not my head coach. Couldn't be me, dog. No. Um... No. Let's get into some shit quarterbacks. Let's let's non rookies, non rookies, worst starting quarterbacks in the NFL. I didn't put Ryan Fitzpatrick on mine because I don't mm. think he's going to play the rest of the year. Me either, but um, he would have been. I did put Taylor he Heineke. Been, who Taylor Heineke? Yeah, I did too. Okay. Um, uh, Fitzpatrick would have been towards the bottom. I also didn't in a good way. Who would have been one of the right. better bad quarterbacks? I also didn't include include Tyrod and. I don't think he's in the bottom five. Right no, on the I don't think he's in the bottom. Uh, I mean, I made a list of 10. I put him in the bottom 10. Um, okay, I only have a list of like six or seven. Um, the I think my six through 10 being the best quarterbacks are much better than the ones lower than them, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, we've already talked Ben Roethlisberger. I think he's the worst quarter non rookie quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I think so too. It sucks. It's hard to watch. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a legend Super of the Bowl game. Champion. Dude has nothing left. Zero in the tank. Nothing it, left. It's at all. getting. It's not really that funny anymore. It's very <laughs> no, sad. No, like, it's pathetic. It was, a, it was a fun little bit for a while. Uh, it is so. Pa- it's so so bad. I mean, guy hasn't been good since 2018. <sighs> He's never healthy at any point. No. Uh, it's not good. No. Who'd you have second? We both have him last. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I necessarily have these even ranked. I uh, somewhat rank them. I put Heineke next as yeah. the next worst. Yeah. I think I might agree with you. I mean. He's got some bad in him. Let's, that's for sure. He guy he can, is a turnover he can, machine. He's got a little, bit of, a little bit of juice, a little bit of like. Like, I'm way better than I am. I'm going to let this rip. That's the thing, though. His talent <laughs> is just so... There's such a wide gap between his talent and his perceived talent by himself. Yeah. My God, there's been a flag every play. Jalen Hurts is getting killed. Uh, Yeah. Anyways, he, I think, yeah, he's... He's just not a starting NFL quarterback. No. no. Uh, hate to break it. If, Taylor, you're listening to the pod, I, Love I'm you. sorry. I don't think Apologies, you're... Apologies, but uh, I think you're a, a very capable backup. Yep. Good backup. Real Chase Daniel type motherfucker. Going ha- to make some money in the league being a backup. Probably. Um, next guys I had, I had Daniel Jones and Tua sort of. I didn't consider Tua. Yeah, Tua's not shown me anything good. 
in his NFL I think career. Tua is in a tier above these very bad quarterbacks in a tier with Jalen Hurts. To where so, it's like, there's I mean, still... I'm, who else do you have down here then? Because, like... Have, I have... You want me to just rip them off? Because so, I have, like, Tua and Jalen Hurts next on my list. I think... Jalen Hurts can't throw. I think Tua's better than Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, we've seen. The dude cannot make NFL throws. Yeah. Stop trying to make him a thing. He couldn't make throws in college. He got benched for two in college because he couldn't make the throws. He's a very athletic, solid runner. You just... He's just not a franchise quarterback. I'm, yeah, I wonder I'm, if he interviews well. I probably I you could I be. I think he, I always hear that he's like the best guy. He's leader, incredibly good looking too. Great, which, yeah. He's just like you. You could if he's a good speaker. I don't know if he's a good speaker. It would be so easy to fall in love with him. Yeah, leader just, of men. Yeah, you, you could. I mean, yeah, it's. A very much like a he's black Tim Tebow basically. Yeah, like you, <laughs> uh, you you could see where it'd be like, dude, maybe give him a chance. He says all the right things. Great face of the franchise. Good looking guy. Maybe let's try it. He could. He's got. He's got some. Got some juice. Can well, run around a little bit. Your pastor. No, you won't. We've you seen won't. it. It's just not a thing that happens. You don't teach people Unless that. Josh Allen. Unless Josh Allen. That's 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 like the only one that's ever happened. Yeah. Um, so who do you have that's worse than those guys? I'm, I'm uh, Jared Goff and Matt Ryan. I didn't have Matt Ryan on my list. Matt Ryan sucks. Matt Ryan is sneaky Ben Roethlisberger. Huh. Um. Oh. Wrong, wrong guy. Wrong <laughs> big white guy. <laughs> uh, I think Matt Ryan's pretty dusty. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, Not to the Roethlisberger levels, but he is dusty. Hmm. Man, I don't know. I think he's worse than Goff. So, I... Matt Ryan throws to Cordero Patterson like 12 times a game. He's very, very Drew Brees late in his career, very Rothless, very dead. Yeah, you're probably right. He needs to be on here somewhere. I still... I think Goff is better than him. I agree. I had Jameis next, because speaking I, of I wrote him down. the bad being as bad as it gets, he still just can't figure it out. I mean... I think it's about time. It's just not going to happen. Stop trying He's to make Jameis a thing. Just going to be a turnover machine. Yeah. Dude Plenty of guys with big arm that don't know where to throw. Um, the ball. I also wrote down Carson Wentz. Yep, I had him too. I had Tyrod on there as well. I think For Tyrod different reason because might Tyrod's be better than all these guys right now. Maybe um, he looked pretty capable in yeah. his time before he got injured. But it's, that's a bad roster, and he was like kind of competing with him. Sure, He's just yeah. Yeah, he's a weird one because what an unlucky guy. All, all these Jesus. other guys are far more talented than him. Which like, it's like, do you want a really talented guy who could be great? Are they? That though? I mean, like Jameis is more talented than Tyrod yeah. Taylor as a yeah, thrower yeah, yeah. of the football. Yeah, yeah. Like um, Tua, more talented thrower of the football. Than I would Tyrod rather have Taylor. Tyrod than like Matt Ryan. Yeah, you're probably right. He's so bad. Yeah. He's awful. Right. He's so um, past it. Yeah, used to be used to be better. I mean, he he didn't win an MVP. He he used to be able to, to sling it sling it around. Another guy, Hall of Famer. Used to be able to sling it around. It's just so past that time. Yeah, uh, I had Wentz. Guy that I had in the bottom ten, I had Jimmy G. What do you think about that? I think he's better than everybody we've mentioned. He wouldn't be in the bottom ten I probably have for me. Golf better than Jimmy G. I think those two are almost carbon copies yeah. of each other, actually. Yeah, very sim- very, very similar. Yeah, I probably should have at least wrote him down. Um, yeah, I would probably... <sighs> I think he has a uh, a better system around him to be able to kind of prop him up For a little sure. bit. For sure. Um, yeah, I would probably put Ryan in here and maybe take off Tyrod. But, uh, yeah, I think Wentz, Jimmy G, and Goff are all bad, but, you know, winnable with bad, I think. Who'd you say, Jimmy Wince, G? Jimmy G, and Goff. Yeah. Uh, Tyrod's probably winnable with bad, but it's just like, I don't know, he's just so limited as a thrower. Yeah. He just doesn't have anything that excites you as a passer. Yeah. And he's getting older, so it's not like he's really a threat to run anymore. Um, but then, yeah, like Jalen Hurts can't win a playoff game with that guy. Jameis, don't think you want a playoff game with that guy. Tua, Heineke, Big Ben, Daniel Jones – I think Daniel Jones is probably the yeah. best of all of them. 
You think Daniel Jones is better than Goff and Jimmy G? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here's my thing. His decision-making is far worse. Is it? Are there's, they're not known for their decision-making. I mean, we're not talking about the yeah, the most. You're right. I mean, at least he can run. At least he yeah. can extend drives. At least he can throw a, a little bit. He hasn't been the problem this year, in my opinion. It's very hard to evaluate these guys. Like, Goff and Jimmy G played on good teams their whole career. Um, I think Goff's looked fine for Detroit. I mean, he hasn't shown me anything that's, like, particularly I'm sure he's okay. bad. Yeah, he's okay. He's better than Matt Ryan, I think. Um, very Jimmy G-ish. Very, yeah. There's really not that many awful, awful quarterbacks, I guess, when I looked at this list. No, I think I'm so down on Matt Ryan, if you can't tell. Boy, he's... He's truly dusty. He's certainly past his prime. Jeez. <laughs> I, I mean, how do you not take a quarterback last year? You take Kyle Pitts? I mean, he's fine. He's good. Uh, You're taking a tight end at number fucking four. Dude, what are we fucking doing? I think that dude's going to be an absolute fucking weapon. I sure, mean, maybe. But, like, Justin Fields or, like, with your new core? I'm shocked that the new coach – didn't take the job there with the understanding that they were going to take a quarterback. Maybe he wanted Matt Ryan. Maybe he saw something in him. I don't know. I think he just really liked Kyle Pitts. Maybe. Well, then fucking use him, dude. He hadn't done jack shit in three weeks. Yeah. I don't know. Um, well, let's see it. I don't know. Dude's a freak, but uh, I don't know. They're all freaks in the NFL, I guess. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of athletic men playing the game, you know? All these great offenses. Boy, this got out of hand, huh? Got Creed tight ends. We're mid fourth quarter. It's forty one fourteen. They're getting shit pumped. Maybe the Eagles are what we thought they were. Folks, I told you the Eagles fucking suck. They're not making the playoffs. They're gonna get a top ten pick this year. They're not a good football team. Yeah. Jalen Hurts. Sorry, pal. Hand up. Bet on the Eagles tonight. Whoops. Yikes. That's a yikes. I uh Teased the under, and the Cowboys might just cover that whole number by themselves. So, not great. With what? With the Packers last night. Ah. Oh, you so you've been thinking about this a minute. Yeah. You've been thinking about this under a while. Oh, this yeah. is bad. What, it's like 56 or something? 57 and a half? We, uh, I, think the total, I think the total was 51 and a half. We might be a point away from this. Yeah, we got a total of fifty. We, we might get some electric live. Let's get some live sweat. So going I'm on here. I'm no longer I'm I've lost my wager for the night. So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's just run the clock out. We need a turnover here, huh? Ooh, fifty eight. What is it right now? Fifty five. Fifty five. I'm gonna kick a field goal. Oh baby, <laughs> you need a turnover, and then Dallas to just run it out. Oh, can we fill air on this podcast for five more minutes? We can talk about. The Cowboys or something? Sure. Uh, the Cowboys have looked really good. Huge miss by me. They've looked... Yeah, I mean, I, just, I thought at the beginning of the year, the roster is very good. Very respectable loss on opening night and then go on the road to beat the Chargers. Yeah, big miss. God, they got so Who many they play penalties. In week, three? in week two, they beat the Chargers. Oh, this is week three. This Duh, is week Monday three. Night. Um, Boy, the... The Eagles offensive line. The Eagles line. don't have any good players. They have two offensive linemen out. It's a very, very bad bet. I mean, you know, it is what it is. We can look uh, a little preview into the uh, the pick show. We had a very good week against the spread. Both of us were pretty good. Both of us above 500 as I pull it up. You won this game. I lost this game. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I went 10 and 6. No. Yes. 10 and 6. And you went 9 and 7. So, you know, winning We're sharp. Winning cash. 2 out of 3 winning weeks. Folks, I I get think on board I now. think you should bet on every single game and bet exactly what we will because you'll come out a winner in the end. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't for responsible. The for the love of God, don't bet every NFL game. <laughs> You will lose uh, your shirt. Yeah, yeah. The juice will get you. The juice will eat you. You need a to lot. go Every play, there's a flag. I'm so tired. The game's over. Just let them kill each other. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Stop this madness. 
I'm tired. Nick Sirianni, take those fucking pins out of your hat, dude. Yeah, you look like Sweet a... Sweet schmedium, bro. Yeah. You fucking <laughs> suck. Oh, this guy's a total, what total a douche. douchebag. I hate him. Oh, it looks like they let a Sigma Chi coach the fucking team. <laughs> what are we doing, dude? Oh, man. Is that even a frat? I don't know. Who gives a shit? God. Yo, frat boys, drop the drop it in the comments. Yeah, You're drop your frat. drop your affiliate. Yeah, drop your uh, whatever the shit your your signs, signs? Or, uh, symbols, uh, Greek, letters, Greek, uh, uh, whatever, dude. Omega Alpha first came back in AT and T Stadium for Dax since he shattered his shit last year. They made a real big deal about he did. that. It's they like, a very he, big deal. He didn't fucking die. It's yeah, not a good injury, but players get hurt all the time. It is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, though. Yeah, his leg was sideways. It was not. It was ugly. It's Mike Parsons broken. probably don't want to get hurt here in this game. You've won. Mm-hmm. Broke his ribs. Dead. Uh, There's so many flags and injuries that we might not be able to, to creep this no, out to the end. I mean, this four and a half minutes is going to take 25 at this rate. You would think. Well, you need to keep it under 58. And, yeah. Yeah. Any type of score other than safety is a loser at this point. Well, uh, yeah. This is bad. This or is bad. Push. First and 30? What do we do? Holy Penalties. God. Remember? Yeah, I didn't. I mean, how many? I guess two holdings. I mean, yeah. I, do it. I don't know. Boy, I mean, we mentioned Dan Quinn earlier in the show. Been pretty impressed with his, with his defense. Yeah, he's got the boys going. Um, They're missing tons of guys. Demarcus Lawrence is out. Uh, a couple other... Defensive linemen are out. Uh, this is not good. You know, yeah, they're yeah, just gonna go down and score for sure. Playing super. You soft. notice, you notice all the passes that Jalen Hurts completes. Who do they go to? Uh, the tight end or the running back? Yeah. Uh, big, big sign of a quarterback that fucking stinks. Doesn't throw it to the boundaries ever. Yeah. He threw that one ball to the boundary at the beginning of the game, and he underthrew it by about mm, ten yards. Yeah. Got it picked off. Lamar does that. You don't think he stinks? Well, Lamar's a much Lamar, better runner. Lamar runs a 4-3. Lam- <laughs> he does. Lamar's looked pretty good throwing the ball this year. Oh, boy. I don't know. They. What do you mean? I he's looked pretty good throwing the ball. I guess. Yeah, he's looked better, I suppose. I mean, his deep ball... Hollywood Brown dropped three beautiful deep ball touchdowns in that game against Detroit. They yeah. should have won that game easily. He was very open, to be fair. But, yeah, he did. Uh, well, I mean, open, one or, he, open one, or not, it's on the run. One of you wasn't. Oh, and there we go. And I just lost. Greg Ward. Greg Ward. Suck my ass. God <laughs> what damn about it. that throw? Are you back in on Jalen Hurts? <laughs> Fuck you. Um, <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good throw. Good throw, Jalen. You bag of shit. Hey, sometimes you just put up 60 points on Monday night. Life's too short to bet the under. What are you doing? That sucks. They gave up 40? That sucks, yeah. Well, they had, I mean, have a little bit of pride. There was two defensive touchdowns, right? Dak got sacked for a, or fumbled yeah. for a touchdown, and they threw a pick six to open the half. Yeah. Oh, my God. I wasn't even thinking about that at the time. That's brutal. Yeah, yeah not very good. Well, if we're going to end on a somber note here as, as a loser. Womp, womp. But our against the spread picks, hot fire. So tune in for those. Tune in. Tune in. To the spread Thursday. pick show. We, we're going to have them for you. Thursday morning, we're going to pick every game against the spread. Nominee can say this, over 500 for the year. Some would say, some would say pretty sharp. Ten some, of, some of these guys you're paying for picks from, they're not free, over 500 for the year. Free. Free 99. All it costs you is a nice little, little just show a little love. Maybe hit a subscribe. Maybe hit a like. We're not even charging that, really. No, I mean, you, we're not totally, to that at all. totally we're just, free will. We're just, please, please do it. Why wouldn't you? It's free. Do you not like me? Do better. If you like me, hit the like. Bingo. We'll if see you ya. like these videos and you want to know when they go live, hit the bell Dude, icon. hit the bell icon to know exactly when that drops in your inbox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watch, watch it on YouTube, you know? Oh, yeah. The people are clamoring. The people are asking, when's this intro happening? We, we get Soon. It. I don't want to give a hard date, but right. very soon. I don't... We put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into these into this footage... Yeah, I think it's cool, but I think it's pretty cool, pretty neat. A uh, little, little something for you guys, a little spice up the production. We quality. put in the work. We put in the work, so you don't have to. Uh, yeah, we're blathering on at this point. Yeah, that's let's all get I got. Here. See you for the pick show Thursday morning. Let's let's beat down that bookie. Let's kill the bookmaker again this week. What do we say? 
Take them to Pound Town. What do you say, folks? Thoughts of Fred's podcast. Another one in the books. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with all your friends. Subscribe on Apple. Subscribe on Spotify. All the stuff. Wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Love you guys. Mwah.